everybody. I'm three minutes late. I was on the phone with my daughter just chatting away and I happened to look at my watch. I said, oh my gosh, it's two o'clock. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. It's Wednesday, right? February 3rd. It's a beautiful day here in Kansas City. Kind of spring-like. You're, if you're here, say hello. Love to chat with you. I've got a fun little card, and we're going to use two different techniques for the card. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Carol. How are you, girls? Um, my doggies went to the groomers this morning, and they're they're all. I have a bed under my desk here, and um, they're pooped. I think from the. Uh, <laughs> the groomers. It's, it's very stressful for them. <laughs> um, they're not, they don't like to have their photo taken, but I'm going to try today when they're nice and clean and, and pretty to take a picture and I'll put it on the Facebook page. <laughs> but um, they don't pose very well, my little doggies. It's sunny and breezy in Lee Summit. Hi, Donna. And my sister Stacy says it's beautiful and sunny there too. Yeah, it's really nice. I guess tomorrow it might sleep or something. So hopefully when I'm off here, I'll go outside and enjoy some, soak up some vitamin D. <laughs> okay, the card we're going to make today, let me put this up, that over there. Um, I made it a sympathy card. You wouldn't have to, but I owe a friend a sympathy card. Um, so we're going to do a little masking to create this uh, in the center and then we're going to do um, some blending with the blending brushes. And I'm using the Dragonfly Garden Bundle out of the Spring Mini Catalog, which is a punch bundle, which I always love, a punch bundle. Punches are so quick and easy. I'm going to uh, tell you what page in the Spring Mini that this is on. Page 27. This set is just, uh, I really like it. It's very serene. Make, makes nice masculine cards too. Um, even though it's got florals, it's very on trend. The bundle is $36.75, so a great price. When you buy the, the punch and the stamp set together, you save 10%. So um, I'm going to be using this image. I use this little image on the inside of the card, and I'm going to use the punch for my little um, dragonflies on the front of the, the card. Okay, to start off with, oh, the sentiment I used was from the Heal Your Heart um, stamp set, and this is a freebie that you can get during celebration, which ends the end of this month. Um, just really nice sentiments. I love the font. So I wanted to use the Sorry for Your Loss. So this can be free with a $50 uh, purchase before tax and shipping. It, it is out of the celebration brochure. And if you have any questions about that, um, message me or put a comment below or, or ask me right now. And I'll try and answer your questions. Um, we're going to be using the paper from that suite, that dragonfly um, suite. And uh, these are very earthy colors, very, um, I call it kind of boho chic, um, two-sided, six by six, a lot of fun colors. We're going to be using um, Mossy Meadow for our card base, and it is eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a fourth, so that's our card base. And then for the first layer here, I've cut a piece of that designer series paper at, oh, I cut it too small, y'all. That's why you should measure 
I just did it while I was cutting while I was chatting with my daughter. No worries. Three and three fourths. I bet I did three and a fourth. Yep. <laughs> ah, that's what I get for chatting. No worries. I'm going to cut another piece because that's beautiful paper and I want it to show up behind the um, our um, stamped layer. Now it's going to be uh, persnickety for me to find it. Here, this will be cute. Very similar. It's got the little butterflies, or the little dragonflies on it. It's three and three-fourths by five. <laughs> I think I knew that when I was cutting it, but like I said, I was chatting. You know, me and my chatting, I lose my train of thought. There we go. By five. A lot of colors used in this paper are Calypso Coral, which we're going to use, um, Mossy Meadow, and Bumblebee is the yellow. So I'm going to adhere this right on to the card front. I believe the dark plum color in this paper is Rich Razzleberry. That's also a pretty color to pull out of the, the paper. Okay, for my little um, stamped layer, I'm going to cut a piece of, which I also forgot to do before I came on, but you guys won't mind. We're going to cut a, um, a layer out of crumb cake with the, I probably put the, I usually like to do this before we all get to going, but, um, so you don't have to watch me do it, but you get to watch me do it today. <laughs> these are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I use these all the time. I love the scalloped edges and I love the stitching. And I'm going to just use my um, little mini here, my mini stamping. Emboss machine. I'm going to do it this way, y'all, because it's easier for me to see. Hi, Rachel. You're in Atlanta. How is Atlanta? Probably warmer than here. The last live um, conference that Stampin' Up! had before all the COVID mess was in Atlanta. We had a lot of fun at the convention center. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Got my mom joined us. Hi, Letha. This is the card we're making. So I just cut this rectangle out with the Stitch So Sweetly die, um, the largest rectangle die. And we're going to um, mask it. And I've cut a mask. And there's several ways to do that. I just cut out a uh, an identical uh, die to push to put over the um, our layer. I'm going to get some scrap paper here. Get 
this way. And then I did something kind of funky. I did a little, um, kind of like a tag. So what I used for that was my, oh no. <laughs> um, Post-it notes. And of course, y'all, they're right in front of me before I start. In fact, I just laid them aside <laughs> to, um, anyway, we won't use the post-it note, but it worked so perfectly. Can you hold on one second? Let's see if it's in my pile here. I kind of show you guys stuff and then I just throw it all over here. is the weirdest thing. Oh, found them. <laughs> As Mary Gun Fun would say, I found them on my mask. So I've got these square post-it notes and I'm going to use them to kind of hold everything together. So I'm going to um, put my mask and all I did was cut out another one of my um, dies and then I cut a rectangle out of the center of that. That way I knew it was going to be centered. You could use uh, repositional tape for this. I just did it this way. And then to do my little um, taggy thing, which <laughs> isn't necessary, but I don't know. I guess I was trying to be creative. I just put this little uh, piece of post-it right like that. So that's my mask and we're going to use the new blending brushes, which I'm really having a lot of fun with. And we're going to use Mossy Meadow ink. Bumblebee ink. And then just a tiny bit of Calypso Coral ink. So I'm going to start out with the um, Bumblebee ink, or I'm sorry, the Mossy Meadow ink. I'm going to make sure that my masks aren't going to come up. And I think I put this one down just a little bit. I can't remember if I did or not. <laughs> but I think I did because there's no ink. So I think this is where I uh, did it. Y'all. Okay, I'm going to put one more on there because I don't like how that's, there we go. <laughs> so the only part I want to do is the center of this rectangle. So I'm taking my blending brush with some Mossy Meadow and I'm just going to do the top third here. And I always um, get the first little smush off on the on a scrap paper so that I don't get a big uh, you know the brush sometimes the first time you you push it onto the paper can leave a a mark so I'm just blending that in and since I'm doing it over crumb cake cardstock um, it's going to take a few layers to get as deep as I want. And then I'm going to take um, the bumblebee and go right in the middle here. It just, it just, um, It's just a tiny little area on the card stock. And 
And then I'm finally going to take this Calypso Coral. My Calypso Coral looks like I've re-inked it or painted with it or something. It's kind of a mess. I'm going to put it down here in these corners. So it's kind of like a little, um, kind of like a ombre effect. Donna says, was watching a demo the other day and the demonstrator said not to get the blending brushes wet. Um, I would wash them, but no, I wouldn't use them wet. I would make sure that they were thoroughly dry, but I wouldn't be afraid to wash them. Um, I kind of... I've only bought three and I kind of keep like this is going to be for my reds and pinks. This is going to be for my yellows and my greens. And you can kind of wipe off all the excess ink from them, I found. Um, but I wouldn't be afraid to wash them. But I certainly wouldn't use them wet. You'd probably end up with a kind of a mess. I've never heard that you're not supposed to get them wet. But I will do some more research because I could be wrong. But they're just um, little bristles. They're really, it looks like a sponge, but it's not. There's just several little, they're like makeup brushes. And I wash my makeup brushes all the time. So, no, I wouldn't be afraid to wash them. But I don't know that I would use them wet. I wouldn't be afraid to try to use them wet. <laughs> okay, so that's what we end up with. And I am a little higher than I was on my sample, but that's okay. I wondered about that. Um, now we're going to stamp. I'll get rid of my scratch paper. And I'm going to use my Stamparatus because I want to play with the placement. And um, you guys know when I'm using red rubber stamps, um, I just like to use my uh, Stamparatus. It's not um, required. It just makes it easier for me. And I also were stamping on um, Crumb Cake cardstock. So... Um, I'm going to probably stamp this two or three times to get, get the impression that I want. So that's another reason. It's a little bit more dense than our, our basic white. And then I, um, I don't want the flower to be down here. So I am going to also use one of my little post-it notes and put it right here. And here's the stamp set we use Monday. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't put it away? <laughs> So I'm using Memento Black ink for this impression. And see how it's very slight? I'm putting this one mo over more to the left because I might try something different on this uh, card than I did on my sample. This is one of the reasons I love my Stamparatus is because um, of this very thing. <laughs> There's no way I could have gotten three impressions on that. Um, isn't that cute? Looks like it's just kind of on there, right? Okay, now while we're still stamping, I am going to, or while I've got this out here, I'm going to flip the plate over, and I've got a little, this is just a smidge over half an inch 
for the tag. I think that's a little over half an inch by four inches. And I am using the sentiment, um, I think I shared with you guys earlier. Uh, sorry for your loss. This is from the Heal Your Heart. This is one of the free stamp sets you can get uh, during celebration. And I might do this one a couple of times too. Looks like a pretty garden flag. It, it does. Never thought about that. Okay. So that's our stamping. Now, where's the card base? Okay, I popped this up with dimensionals. This would make a great masculine uh, birthday card or um, as well as a female birthday card. It is very garden inspired. Okay. Then I was going to, instead of doing the little, um, little guys out of, and I'm not sure this is going to work. I'm experimenting on the fly here, girls. <laughs> I am going to cut a, um, this green. See, I put my flowers a little bit over to the left. I am going to punch this out of that designer series paper with my punch and put this little guy over here. And I think it's going to work. <laughs> so these punches do coordinate with um, these dragonflies on the um, designer series paper. And I was going to see if, while we're here, if it works on these little ones too. Oop, I'm thinking it's going to. Don't you guys like how I figure it out with you? <laughs> I don't think the little ones, but I'm wondering if this little medium one on this this print and I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I have to make a little handle and it does. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love that. So when you're punching your um, dragonflies out of this paper, because you only get, I think, four pages of that, uh, cut around these these medium sized ones because your punch would work with that as well. I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. So I'm going to put this little guy right here instead of the um, the little I had just punched these out of Bumblebee cardstock. And I think I'm going to prop him up on a couple mini dimensionals. Looks like he's just flying in the garden. What do you think, that way or that way? I think kind of that way. Maybe he's, there we go, kind of like that. Then I'm going to flag the ends of our sentiment here.
and put that right there with also I popped that up with some dimensionals. I hate to cover up my stamping, but I kind of want to show that flag. I think I'll just center this like I did. And then for the center of the card, I just took a piece of four by five and a fourth, and I just stamped um, the little swarm of, um, dragonflies. I didn't really put a sentiment in here and um because I'm still thinking about it. I might just write a little note. that's the center so there's two different um, takes on that let's go ahead and punch out some of these other little um, guys and put them around I think we need something else <laughs> I always uh, change my change it up don't I I just think we need some more now that I know I can do this I'm so excited I think we need a few more, maybe one more. Here's a blue one. Make sure I make sure I don't clip his wing off. We put that one right there. So pretty. Um, what did I do with my mini? I'm going to put them on a mini dimensional as well. just put him down there. I don't want to cover up all my, my artistic endeavors. <laughs> okay, I'm going to reach again because I have a couple more samples. Oh my gosh, that was bad. Um, using this stamp set that I wanted to share. If I can find them in my sample box right here. Hopefully I haven't put them away. I'm just going to reach the whole box. I need to start sending some of these cards. I'm hoping they're in here. Here they are. Here's another sample using that stamp set. We use that same image just in the mossy meadow and and then use the the ribbon and just some squares of um what do you call it designer series paper and then here's another one this is punched out of that designer series paper and we use that swarm and just stamped several times in the bumblebee and again just use rectangles of the designer series paper and I thought I had one more. 
this is where all this basket is where everything goes that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> Here's the extra one. Okay, here we go. I did have one more. There's the swarm again in mossy meadow, kind of a background. And then we stamped that big image um, with the bumblebee. And again, just some little scraps of the designer series paper. So um, I just kind of love this set. I think it's really cute. And like I said, I always love punch bundles. Punches will last forever. <laughs> and they're so quick and easy um, to work with. Okay, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Um, Monday, I'm not sure what's happening because I, I'm not sure what's happening. I may, I may be on Monday morning for Make It Monday instead of Monday after, afternoon. I think my mom has a doctor's appointment that we have to get to. So, um, but I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> Um, thanks for joining me, and we will see you um, Monday sometime. <laughs> Have a great rest of your week, and enjoy your weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.